Hi viewers, welcome to Penos Totten. In this video, we are going to see a short review on Airmail Valiti 69A, an acrylic finished fountain pen, and this uh, body and cap, and all this portion completely made of an acrylic one. And there is a silver clip and a silver ring on the cap of this body, a uh, cap, a uh, cap of this pen, and there is a hole. This is a breather hole, and. Uh, this will prevent the ink from blogging and maintains a balanced atmospheric pressure so that the ink does not leak or rub into the nibs and this is a thread type mechanism you have to unscrew the cap to open this and this is number 8 nib which is a fine tip gold plated one and you can swap the nibs as you like since we have number 8 nibs in many brands and also number 35 nibs suits this pen and Usually pen enthusiasts will swap with candid nibs where we have a fine medium and broad and flex in uh, number 35 nib and uh, also in gold dual tone and flex uh, on a uh, gold dual tone and silver and now the diameter of this pen is the holding area's diameter is 10.5 uh, mm as the holding area diameter is a bigger one this pen is more suitable for adults who have bigger fingers and the body of this pen is 12.1 mm and the length of this pen without cap is 126.1.7 uh, mm with cap it is 144.3 mm and now the entire weight of this pen is 18 grams and yeah with this length and all you can find uh, a very good hold holder or pouch for this pen you can get some idea about this with this uh, length uh, length and on pen maintenance please wash the pens regularly that is twice a month because all the dye based ink will precipitate on longer usage so it will block the ink's passage in the feeder so you will get a scratchy writing and inside you, the ink will uh, dry quickly then you might have to shake the pens for the ink flow to come out i think you might experience this and the reason is the blockage in the feeders grow to clean the deposits and dots please remove the feeder and the nib unit separately by holding this and twist and pull this so this is simple it will come out simply and then you can wash with the uh, running tap water or else you can wash with the uh, soap water for that you can soak in the soap water for an hour and then brush and clean so this is so simple and in some ink bottles itself you can notice on every fill it is recommended to clean the pen with water and so it is clear unless otherwise we have a good cleaning and maintenance the flow will be affected and again on maintenance all the threads are turned to worn out so to increase the life of the thread please apply silicone grease or vaseline over this portion whenever you are opening and closing for the ink fill and whenever you fill the ink fill below the inner threads if you fill in excess you will get a leakage path and uh, you will spoil your hands and also few nibs need to be fine out or uh, fine tuned because uh, during manual assembly of nibs the tines may stick together so gently push the tines up and down so like this so it will create some space in between the tines so you will get a smooth writing and the ink flow will be very good and make sure uh, both the tines are parallel if not you will get a scratchy writing and whenever we dispatch the pens to our customer we do this fine tuning and we will check before dispatch and this is our usual practice i'm going to give the writing sample for today's writing i'm going to use pen of totten violet color ink The writing is extremely smooth and the flow is so good and uh, uniform. Yeah, the writing is so good and yeah, if you have any query about this pen, you can ask in the comment section or else you can make a call to a mobile number. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.